Hey, subscribe to the channel. This is King Me. Welcome back. This goes out for the autumn junkies. You know, the ones that want to pop pills and don't care. Hey, woo! Let's just party. Well, they got a lot of fake pills going around with fentanyl in them. So be ready, you know? That might be your last pill. Yeah? So, you know what I'm saying? Dress nice. King me. Tonight, a warning from the Clay County Sheriff's Office as they investigate an increase in overdose deaths. Deputies blame pills laced with fentanyl. The DEA says 42% of the pills they seize have a lethal dose of fentanyl. KCTV5's Emily Ribbon talked to a mother who spoke at tonight's Community Drug Education Summit. Tonight, a woman shared her family's story about losing one of her sons. She says her son thought he was taking a Percocet for pain. Instead, he died of a fentanyl overdose. She was my baby. Rebecca Everett says in November of 2019, her son Taylor broke his leg when he was hit by a car. She says his pain lingered, and on October 28, 2020, he took a pill hoping for relief. It was a a Percocet that he thought he was taking and it was let, laced with fentanyl. While at work on that life-altering day, her younger son called her in a panic. He found him. He started screaming, you know, he's not breathing and everybody thinks this is not going to happen to me. And I want people to know it just takes one pill. There's our, our largest culprit to provide it right now. Those Clay County Drug Task Force Detective Sergeant Gary Blackwell wants community members of all ages to be aware that counterfeit pills are being sold. He says the counterfeit pills are often round and blue, with an M on one side and a 30 on the other. These are 100% counterfeit pills. They're not pills that come from a pharmacy. Um, they're not pills that came from a pharmacy and then are laced with fentanyl. Last year, the Clay County Sheriff's Office Drug Squad investigated more than a dozen overdose cases involving fentanyl-laced pills and nine deaths. In 2020, there were two overdose deaths in Clay County. This is an epidemic and it shows no signs of, of letting up. And I'm afraid we're going to lose a large generation or a large portion of entire generation of, of Americans due to this. Last year, the Missouri Western Interdiction and Narcotics Task Force seized more than $5 million worth of fentanyl in the Kansas City metro area. It's the largest killer of Americans between 15 and 25 right now. Rebecca says she hopes sharing Taylor's story could save someone else's life. Every day I still cry for him and his family misses him every day. I just don't want any anybody to go through what we're going through. If you or someone you know is struggling, there is a substance abuse helpline. Anyone can anonymously call 1-800-662-HELP. We'll also have a link with more information and resources on our website, kctv5.com.